Hello and welcome to another CS341 sample video, this time looking at mixture of Gaussian's background subtraction. Here we've got a background model which is the bottom window, a foreground model which is the top right, top left and the input which is the top right. Um, what's happening is motions being detected and displayed as white in the top left image and shadows are being detected and shown as grey in the top left image. The reason we can do this is because instead of modelling each pixel as just one thing, we're modelling each pixel as a distribution over a number of Gaussians and this allows things like edges to be handled better. Um, if you remember from the uh, moving average background subtraction, edges of objects gave us a weird pattern which meant that because they were sometimes in one pixel and sometimes in another, you got a flicker effect. Um, here with the moving average background subtraction you're not going to get that. What you're going to get is those edges, both of those edge pixels being stored as part of the background model. This means that the background model we've got here is not actually a picture of the background model, it's just a kind of approximation because there's more to it. You can't display four Gaussians as a single picture. Um, but hopefully what you can see from this is that we've got the foreground being reasonably well identified the background not having too many spurious extra pixels of white popping up. There are a couple, but not that many. And you can also see that there's some attempt at modelling shadows, so shadows are highlighted in a different colour in the foreground mask, which can be very useful, particularly in situations where lighting is better. Um, but anyway, that's a mixture of Gaussian's background subtraction in a